all MRI scans are abnormal. If you have neck or back pain, you'll probably get an MRI scan to figure out what's wrong. But there is something you should know about MRI scans of the spine. A radiologist will find something wrong nearly 100% of the time. But that may not tell us anything about where your pain is coming from or how to treat it. Let's back up. The MRI machine produces a lot of pictures that slice the human body into thin sections. This technique allows us to visualize anatomic structures from any angle and direction. An MRI image looks like a photograph, but it is actually a computerized image of the molecules inside the human body. These images are superior to CT scans and x-rays. The resolution and clarity of the images is amazing. We can see unbelievably fine detail and we can visualize the smallest details of normal and abnormal human anatomy. On an MRI scan, we can clearly see the intervertebral discs, spinal cord, and nerve roots. We can see things that we would expect, like normal wear and tear, and things that signify that something is wrong, like a tumor, infection, fracture, or a large herniated disc or severe spinal stenosis. Here's the problem. Once you are older than 20, your spine has 20 years of bending, lifting, twisting, and the scan will show some signs of normal aging. It is the radiologist's job to describe in great detail every single thing that is not pristine on your MRI scan, whether it is relevant to why you are having pain or not. A list of things that a radiologist will find on nearly every MRI scan includes disc desiccation, disc degeneration, disc bulging, small disc herniations, annular tears, mild spinal stenosis, and neuroforaminal narrowing. Here is one way to understand what is happening here. If you look at these two pictures of a young baby and an older gentleman, you are not surprised to see that the skin looks different. Why not? We are aware that the natural aging process causes changes to every structure of the human body, and we are used to seeing our faces and our skin change every year. The spine is no different. If we were to look at the skin of the gentleman on the right with a microscope, we would see evidence of degeneration, loss of elasticity, causing loose skin and wrinkles, growths such as skin tags, and pigment changes such as old age spots. These findings would all be described as abnormal. However, we could also describe the skin on the right as normal for age. We only describe it as abnormal when we compare it to the image of the baby on the left. Most people, even if they don't have any back pain, will still have evidence of abnormalities on MRI scans. Disc degeneration, bulging discs, and herniated discs occur very commonly and they may not be causing symptoms of pain. For example, in a paper published in the Journal of Neuroradiology, the researchers found that approximately 90% of people without any history of back pain in the last six months still have evidence of annular tears, disc degeneration, and disc bulging at one or multiple levels. It is also the key to understanding the mind-body connection when it comes to back pain. This chart from this article is the most important piece of data in the study. It's a summary of the results of over 3,000 MRI scans of the spine in people who have no back pain. You can see that as age increases from left to right, the percentage of scans that have evidence of degenerative changes increases every decade. Take disc degeneration, for example. It's the top row. 37% of 20-year-olds have MRI evidence of disc degeneration, increasing to 96% of 80-year-olds. Again, these supposedly abnormal findings are seen in people with no back pain. Therefore, the critical task when it comes to interpreting an MRI scan is correlating the findings on the MRI scan with detailed information about where your pain is located and also with a physical exam. If your scan shows severe stenosis, a fracture, 
an infection, or a large herniated disc, it may be revealing the cause of your pain. However, if it shows disc bulging, disc degeneration, annular tears, or facet arthropathy, it would be much better if the radiologist described the MRI scan as showing natural changes that occur to the spine with time. Remember, your scan is going to be abnormal nearly 100% of the time. There are few findings, such as a large herniated disc, severe spinal stenosis, infection, or instability of the spine, that indicate that you should see a specialist soon. If none of these things are present, chances are that your MRI scan is not helping us understand where your pain is coming from. Wrinkles and loose skin do not cause pain. They are normal changes. The same is true for most of the abnormalities seen on MRIs, even if you have neck or back pain. To figure out what the source of the pain is, we usually need to look elsewhere. For example, in the brain, which is where all pain comes from.